I'm inside the World Health Organization's Global Logistics Hub in Dubai, where medical supplies are being assembled and deployed to earthquake disaster zones in Syria and Turkey. This is one of 20 facilities at Dubai's International Humanitarian City, a special zone set up to provide aid in times of crisis. Dr. Dina Asaf is leading UN efforts. What are some of the main challenges that you're seeing at the moment? Well, as we all can imagine and we see on the news, the hardest part is, of course, reaching the people in need on the ground. We are trying to make sure to facilitate their work by providing them the supplies that they need right now. These pallets are carrying WHO emergency supplies. Inside, they carry medicines, blankets, medical devices, splints and stretchers, all critical in the race to save lives. It comes as the UN Secretary General calls for member countries to explore all possible avenues to find safe passage for aid and personnel into rebel-held areas in northern Syria, a country already on the brink of collapse, plagued by logistical challenges and ravaged by a decade of war. What has made it even harder on the people in Syria and Turkey is the fact that it is winter and in Syria the people that have been harmed are already refugees. So can you imagine? Uh, it, it, comparably, it's really bad. As the number of people killed in the earthquake now passes 20,000, time is running out to find survivors still trapped under the rubble and to get help where it's needed most. Dan Murphy, CNBC.